Hi, welcome in this morning. My name is Jonathan. I'm excited to spend the next couple minutes with you, share a thought, a devotional, and uh, to give you a challenge. There is a difference between a test and a temptation. On the surface of things, they can seem like the same thing. In fact, we may even be tempted to say sometimes that God is really tempting me. Have you ever like had low patience and you just said, oh man, God is really tempting my patience right now. In scripture, it actually says that we should never say that God tempts us. Instead, we should say that God tests us. Now, here's the thing. A lot of people say to me, well, that just sounds like semantics. They're really the same thing. They're not. There's a key difference and distinction to be made between the two things. A test is designed to show your proficiencies based off the lessons you've learned. So when you have a test in school, for example, you're being tested on things that you're meant to have already been taught. Now, you may have missed a class or forgot to study, but that's on you. The idea is you have a curriculum and you learn that body of material and then you test yourself and you figure out how proficient have I been in learning this material. But a temptation functions very differently. And temptation isn't designed to show you what you've learned. A temptation is designed to flesh out your weaknesses. And it's designed to flesh out your weaknesses in order to keep you a slave to that thing you are tempted by. So really the difference between them is the motivation behind them. So God never desires to flesh out weakness, to show you how feeble you are and how you fail. That's not what God is after. God doesn't design things for you to fail intentionally, just so he can laugh at you and say, look how weak you are. But God does test us based off what he's trying to be, what he's tried to teach us in this last season. So he will test your patience to see if you've grown in that area. He will test your giving and generosity to see if you've grown in that area. Somebody will come to you with a great need, somebody who you may not even like. Sometimes God puts us in situations and tests our, our love for those we don't know. He may put you in a work environment that's quite hostile or quite difficult or there's a lot of contention in that workplace. And God is trying to see, okay, can you love people that you disagree with and you don't get on with and that you don't necessarily click with personality wise? Can you still love them as Jesus has taught us to love our enemies? And so in this season of your life, as you're praying and as you're worshiping, and you're thinking about your relationship with God and deepening your relationship with God, here's something for you to journey and to journal and to think about is what is God testing you with right now? What is it that God is highlighting in your life? And God's not trying necessarily to highlight how you're weak in a certain area. Maybe God is testing you in a certain area because he has been trying to teach you, to grow you, to mature you to a place where you can now see the growth and the trajectory that you have been on. So that's kind of my encouragement to you today is maybe you're going through a really difficult time. Maybe there's a lot of stress or a lot of fatigue, emotional fatigue, mental fatigue, whatever it is. We all face challenges and trials and struggles. But what is it about that struggle that maybe God hasn't set you free from or God's not answering prayer? What is it about that that God is trying to test you in? And are you learning from that particular test? Maybe you can write down some things. The other day I wrote down, man, I really feel like I'm being tested in this area of my life. And it helps me because every time I get frustrated by that particular area, I can go back, I can read that, I can say, hold on, God is actually trying to develop and show me how much I've grown here. He's not trying to just flesh out a weakness that he can laugh and, um, you know, sort of step back and go, man, that guy really hasn't grown. A test is all about showing you how you have grown and how mature you have become. So the encouragement is simply this. If you're going through a hard time, maybe God is just simply trying to show you that you are more mature now than you were 
in the past. And that should give us cause for encouragement. Maybe that's why James says in James 1 that we should count it all joy when we face trials and tribulations because they're there for the maturing of our faith, right? We should count it all joy, not because we're going through it, but because we know that once we've gone through it, it produces something inside of us and it highlights to us how much we've grown and where we are right now. So take inventory, take stock, write down some notes. What are you struggling with? And where is God testing you? In what area of your life? In generosity, in giving, in being mercy, in justice, in all kinds of areas, whatever it is. And I hope that God and the Holy Spirit begins to highlight to you what He's trying to move in your life right now, today. Be blessed. We'll see you soon.